Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And finally today, I'm getting to tear down my brooders. Um, and I've, I've gotten the chicks out of the garage and excited about that. And so as I was taking things apart, I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to share some of my thoughts on a few of the items that I purchased this year to try um, in our brooder. You may remember in our initial video, which I will link to right here, um, that uh, I had purchased some items from Coops and More uh, to try this year. Some of them worked out well, some of them didn't. And uh, so let's really get down to it and I will explain what I liked and what I didn't like. So first thing up are the turbo feeders. So these, I bought a two pack, I think it was $18 for the pair. Um, good price, but uh, these I didn't like at all. And um, I doubt I will use these again. The thing that I liked about these was the fact that you had this wide open space. It would hold a lot of feed and you could feed it from the top. And I thought that would be really a great thing for, especially the meat birds. Um, I had one of these in the, bro in the, in the brooder with the meat birds, one in with the, the, the layers. <clears throat> what ended up happening in both situations is the chicks wanted to climb up in inside of this, scratch and eat, and of course, poop. And so it just, it's not a good design at all. This needs a cover. Um, it needs a cover big time. I ended up taking one of the uh, 973 tote covers that I have, putting it on top of there with a brick, but it was so big, um, if they climbed up on one side, it would tip off and then they were back up in it and it just didn't work out real well. Perhaps a lid from a five gallon bucket might work on these, but um, I just didn't care for this at all, at all. Um, I have another feeder that's one that you can hang um, that uh, I like much better. Uh, it's a smaller hole at the top, which makes it difficult to get feed into it, which is why I wanted to try something like this. But. I just didn't care for this at all. The other thing that I didn't like about this at all was the shape of this base. It's got, kind of got this con, um, indentation, this concave base, I guess. And I ended up, um, because with, with meat birds, you put the, the feed in for 12 hours, you take the feed out for 12 hours. And uh, when I would go to put this in, of course, the chicks were all excited, they're all hungry, they're all milling around. And uh, I thought I had all the chicks out of the way, I set this down, and because of this indentation, I did not feel that I had set this on top of a chick. And so I ended up killing a chick um, because of this stupid bottom. So these, out. Don't want them, uh, not gonna use those again. Uh, <clears throat> the next thing up that I wanna talk about uh, are these waterers um, that uh, I bought a pair of these uh, they came with the tea um, but uh, that's all I bought was the waterers I didn't buy the whole system I didn't buy the tubing um, I didn't buy the bucket I had a five gallon bucket I went and bought a nipple at uh, Lowe's and put that in there if I had it to do over again I might buy the watering system um, and then again, I might not. I'd have to compare the price. This nipple was not cheap. Um, to get this nipple was not cheap at all. Um, and so, I don't know, I'd have to think about that one. But, but what I had problems with, and this had nothing to do with the waterers themselves, was this tubing that I bought at Lowe's. This is very rigid, um, and so it made it hard. You can see that it's still holding that shape. And so what would happen, is when I would set this down in the brooder because of how this works, you can see that the, the waterer wants to go sideways and then it started leaking. So definitely you need flexible rubber, I think, uh, tubing, not this um, PVC stuff. Um, so I didn't care for that at all. The other thing about this is it does feel very cheaply made. Um, it held up for the season, um, and uh, I, I think I'll be able to get a couple more seasons out of it. It was only 15 bucks, I think, for the pair, so you know, you're not talking big money, um, and I don't expect it to be built like a tank. 
but um, this just worked out okay um, for me but I think it worked out more okay due to my issues and not so much the construction of the water itself I had more to do with this pipe or this this um, piping not being quite as flexible as I would have liked the other thing that I will do next year is I'm going to at least try to find a shutoff valve um, so when this comes out of the bucket uh, <clears throat> when it comes out of the bucket here I want to have a shutoff valve here because while I did my best to keep shavings out of the water, eventually there did get shavings in there and you had to clean it out. And the thing is that's real nice about this is the bottom does pop off. It pops off like that. But then when it does, this piece flops down and it starts letting water out and that starts making a mess. Um, and so what I would really like is a shutoff valve and I don't even think they sell this with their bundle. So Coops and more, if you are watching this, find a shutoff valve. Uh, to sell with this this kit um, I'm going to look for one and hopefully they make one I would imagine they do um, and that would that would make things so much better when you have to uh, pop that bottom off to go ahead and do uh, some cleaning out of the shavings but overall well the turbo feeder they're out never gonna use them again I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna use them again but I don't plan on ever buying them again I definitely would buy these but I would only give them maybe a three out of a five the thing that I loved uh, that I bought this year was this light fixture. Um, I love this light fixture for a number of reasons. <clears throat> First of all, I love this cage around the light. And this actually ended up saving me big time because I had a light bulb explode. And when it did, it exploded and all of that glass was caught within this cage. Um, and so it didn't fall down into the, the shavings um, the, you know, so the chicks weren't trying to eat glass. Um, so I was very, very happy with this. And also, um, if this would have fallen, although it didn't, if this would have fallen, it would have fallen onto, um, this and it would have protected that bulb. Um, so I was very, very happy with this. The other thing I love about it is it has this nice little switch and this switch is the perfect size to go right through chicken wire. So I didn't have to cut a hole, an extra hole in my chicken wire to fit this through, but I could turn it on and off, although I think I might have only done that once or twice, um, without having to unplug it. And, uh, and so overall, I was very, very happy with this light. This light was, I think, 17 bucks or something like that, so fairly cheap, and it worked out very, very well. Um, so I would give this uh, two thumbs up. Um, uh, no, I would I would give this more than that. I'd give it uh, five thumbs up, five stars. I guess that's better. Two thumbs up, five stars. Um, so <clears throat> hopefully you found this very helpful. Um, again, uh, the 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 turbo feeder, two thumbs down. Never using that again. Don't recommend them. They need a redesign. They need a bottom. They need a top. Um, I don't like them at all. Uh, the waterers, I'll give that maybe a one thumbs up, uh, you know, kind of like a, a one and a half. Um, but that's not so much the design of the waterer. It has more to do with the tubing and uh, not having that shut off valve, which I think would be very beneficial. But definitely on that light, two thumbs up, very happy with that. I know some people don't like heat lights, uh, heat lamps, and I get that. Um, I don't use them in a coupe. I don't use them uh anywhere um but in my brooders and uh try to use them as little as possible although i had to use them a lot longer this year than i wanted to so hopefully you found this helpful if you have any questions or comments any feedback something that maybe i could have done differently that you would suggest let me know in the comments below uh, if you haven't already subscribe to our channel click the bell so that you're notified anytime one of our highly entertaining and informative uh episodes is up on youtube and share it with your friends um really trying to grow this channel and uh so any help that uh, you can give us we would really really appreciate so until next time folks thanks again for tuning in and we will catch you later